The recent discovery of a ship that may be the Clotilda, the last ship to bring slaves to the United States, has brought national attention to Mobile and Africatown. People settling in Africatown. Reporter Ben Rains discovered the ship and spoke Thursday morning to members of the Africatown Community Development Corporation. He also showed video of the discovery and talked about what's next. Well, that's it's entirely up to the state and the feds to figure out jurisdiction and then uh, to you know engage ar archaeologists who'll do the dig and work out a plan and all that. And I don't think any of those. Uh, resolutions have happened yet, decisions have been made. Rain says he's heard archaeologists talk about trying to excavate the ship this summer. And he says there are items that could be found on the ship that could confirm it's the Clotilda. Such as the, the bell of the ship, um, there could be manacles in the hold, there could be pens where the captives were housed. People who live in Africa Town are hopeful about what the discovery could mean for the area's future. I would like to see it become a tourist area. And we have so much in Mobile. It's something that we should have had long ago, just like Charleston and other areas uh, who, who, who have taken their history and, 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 and made uh, a tourist mecca. We now have that chance to do that. And there's another new development for that area today, too. A representative from the city of Mobile spoke to the meeting and said an announcement is expected in about a month that BP Restore money can be used to fund an Africatown Welcome Center. Reporting live from the studio, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.